everyone, Retro Girls UK back for a brand new video and today it is a new video we've had another parcel from Kaz99000 um, I've already presented it, Lisa's just sitting, sitting there ready <coughs> ready having a fag while I'm doing this um, so we want to say thank you so much in advance to Karis or Kaz, however you say it my mind is officially blown yeah I'm we're officially mind. blown um, so if you're new to this channel don't forget to hit that like button, don't forget to subscribe and most importantly don't forget to hit that notification bell to get all the latest updates. Just want to say thank you so much, don't forget to check our channel out. We will put it in the description and you'll probably see it in the title when Lisa does that. So I mean she does her editing because Lisa is the editing person in this relationship. Yeah, so what are we waiting for? Let's get into it. Lisa already knows what's going to be in here, but she doesn't know what I but she knows what it is. Okay, I'm going to attempt to read. I don't know why I bother reading them because I can't read. She's dyslexic, so don't take it a piss. Okay, on the front it says, You know who I am? Do you know who I am? I'm the Don, the boss, <laughs> the great white shark. We do what we do, you know, we do put the the notes inside um, the items that people send us. Hey Lisa and Michelle, hope this finds you both well. I'm sorry to say there's no shark films in this part for this time. There is a shark movie quote on the front though. Bonus points if you can guess what film it's from. I hope you enjoy those premium HV films. More than I did. Yeah. Take care, stay safe from Caris. Thank you ever so much. I don't, I don't know the film, I'm not really a film uh, cult person. Because <laughs> when I went on the dot, I was thinking, is there a Godfather shark movie? I don't know about Is it not for Shark Tale, the bloody. The, the shark was shark, I don't know, it's so silly. Oh, shark, think... shark Tale, the movie, that oh. is, uh, is a Don shark. I don't know, that sounds like the Shark Tale, but I'm not 100% sure. Karis, please let us know in the comments. I was thinking about Shark Tale. Is that Shark Tale, Karis? You're going to have to let us know on that one. Okay, if I said that, I'll stick it in the first item. Okay. So I'm going to keep the box behind us so you're going to see us leaning down because it's quite heavy. So the first one is, as you all know, it's all premium um, films. The first one is. Gattaca with Ethan Hawke. I do love Ethan Hawke movies and with all um, premiums, I think we're a bit too far from the camera, with all premiums we all do have special features. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you just the all reversible covers. I'll just show you once they're doing the rest of them and if no one ever knows the premiums they are numbered. So this is number 21 from 1997. It does have the date. You won't be able to see fully but I am going to put Kaz's nose in this one. Yeah I'm just thinking where we're going to Stick all these premiums. I'm gonna make space above the door, move these to Scooby Doo big boxes on my doctor and I had that as a premium shelf. The next one is Demon Seed. I've never heard of this. This is from 1977. I've seen that in um CX before. But it was like a reprinted cover. This looks like a lot of fun, that looks crazy. Look at that. Look at that. Is that like a little baby thing? <laughs> That looks crazy. Can't wait to watch that. Okay, I've picked the stack up because it just makes more sense. So, we've got 36 hours with James Garner. This is from, oops, from 1964. This is 100, number 142. Looks a really good photo. I think it's like a gangster movie. I'm not too sure. Like a mafia type but movie. But Lisa is working through all her video, uh, her DVDs, Blu-rays. 
Next one is the wrong man. Alfred Hitchcock. I didn't even know he'd done any premiums. You like the Alfred Hitchcock movie, don't you? Yeah, we do. This is 1956. Wow. Perfect. I've watched that before. I've never watched this before. you never watched it? The Wrong Man. I watched it on the TC... Is it TCM or... Did I don't have that channel no more, but I did back in the day. Alfred Hitchcock. We got... Excuse me. Shaft. Is this the is this the original from the Samuel L. Jackson one? So this is Shaft, number 41, 1971. You've been after this for a while, haven't you? I have, yeah. It includes behind-the-scenes documentaries sold in cinema, filming, Shaft in location, Shaft the Killing, 1973 TV episode. I didn't even know there was... I did, I've just never watched them. The next one is The Ballad of Cable Hogue. Never heard of this one. What's the artist from? 1970. What's it called again? The Ballad of Cable Hogue. Sorry. Is that a war movie? No, it's a, uh, it's a western. It looks like a western to me. I've never heard it's of it. It's on the like, set in the old times, like the, the early. 1900s. I'm gonna have to get on some of these premiums. These look cool. So we got China Ta Ch 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 Tao with Jack Nicholson. I've never heard, watched this before. I've heard of it. Have you ever heard of yeah, it? Yeah, I've heard of that. I've never it's got seen a it. commentary, China Town appreciation. It's got loads of extras. And I love the artwork on this. This is from 1974, number 40. You see, I love that lamp down. It's a bit pointy in the background. One second. The next one, another Jack Nicholson, The Two Jakes. I've watched this. Good film, this is. You ever watched this? The Two Jakes, Jack Nicholson. I'm a fan of the only very first Jack Nicholson film I've ever watched, but it is The Shining. <laughs> and I got Michelle into that. Was he in Batman? Yeah. As the Joker. 1989. Truthfully, I haven't watched the old Batman only once. Big fan, big fan. <laughs> so we got Mr. Mr. Deeds, the 80th anniversary, goes to Mr. Deeds goes to town with Gene Arthur and Gary Cooper. This is from 1936. This is number 74. It's a black and white movie. I actually do love black and white films. This is giving me um, what's that film? What's it? I can't remember. There's a film. What's of those giving me the same vibes? I'll think of it when it comes to it. Okay. The next one is. Yeah, I'll move over for you. The Phantom. I'm pretty sure this is an upgrade. I'm sure I've got this on DVD somewhere. So I remember buying it. Have I got this on? I have, not it? Yeah, on DVD. Yeah, this is an upgrade for me. Never even watched this. I bought this on DVD ages ago. And I've always wanted this on Primo. I see this in HTV all the time. But for some reason, I just haven't picked it up yet. Which is a good thing. Yeah, no, I don't have to. Because Cass sent it me, The Phantom. I'm going to have to watch that. That looks really good. This is from. I did see it go. Nineteen sixty-six. You like your? Is that a superhero movie? Yeah. Okay, so the next one is Little Caesar. This is a gangster movie. This is from nineteen thirty-one. This is number thirty-six. I'll back you see. It's a good movie. You ever watched it? No, I've heard of it though. Next one is another Alfred Hitchcock. I confess. Never heard of this one either. The special features got make of documentary Hitchcock's confession, a look at I confess, premiere, newsreel, theatrical trailer. This is what we have this. 1953. I don't own this one. I do have a few Hitchcock movies, but this is one of the ones that I don't Oh god, have. I've just seen something in here and I'm so excited <laughs> about this. I've been after this full boil and I've never seen a C uh, CX or HV. I think I know what you're talking about. I was going to go to Minehead. Um, there's a HV in one of the, 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 the smaller towns by Minehead. I really wanted to go to. That is Excalibur. I've been after this for how long, Lisa? Oh, a while. She's been banging on about it. This and there's another um, one that I've been after and I can't think what it's called. So this, sorry, Lisa, I didn't mean to knock your boob. <laughs> this is 19 from 1981, number 13. I can't be serious in this channel, as you all know. <laughs> and I've been after this for what I'm going to watch this the weekend. When Lisa's watching her movies, I'll give this a watch. Thank you so much, Kaz. Save it, boy, innit? Oh, this is mental. This is crazy. Next one. John Travolta, Urban Cowboy. I've heard of this. i never watched it. Hard Hat Days and Honky Tonk Nights. It's supposed to be a really good movie. From 1980. This one's got special features too. Good times with Gilly, Gilly, 
Looking back at Urban Cowboy, deleted scenes, outtakes, rehearsal footage. I love the outtakes on anything. I think it's hilarious. And I, we don't own this one. I should be going downstairs. This video's done to show her mum and dad because they love their films. Yeah. So the next one is, and I know Lisa's been looking. This is called Running on Empty. Remember it? Yes. 1988. It's a <coughs> number 151, and I know Lisa's been after this for quite a while. It's a good job you didn't go and buy these because Lisa said when we get paid next week she was going to go h &V. So that's that one. And she was looking at them in, in and Nunny and Video Video. I haven't got a lot of video. Next one. <sighs> so I've just seen something else. Big Wednesday. This is 1978. Why have I never heard of this? I love movies about what you call them? Surfing. Yeah, that's the word. Surfers. Yeah. Because I recently bought a movie about stuff. Uh, Crush, wasn't it? Blue, blue Crush. Was it Blue Crush? Something along the line, yeah. yeah. But I've never heard of this and I don't know why. Because this looks good. Quite good, look. Okay. I know a lot of these aren't they out of print now because they'll make them normal. Yeah, this was got special features as well. Feature length audio commentary by director co writer John Milius. Retrospective documentary capturing the spa theatrical trailer. Oh, I read that quite well, didn't I? Yeah. I'm quite proud of myself. <laughs> so the next one is Lisa knows I've watched this film. Many, oh many my days. Times. Lisa has never watched this film. Comment down below, should you watch it? And should you give a small review on a community post on the Facebook group? Lisa doesn't do videos as reviews because she's not very confident with this. I don't, so. like, I don't like them. Well, she can write a review. Yeah. So that is Stan Stanley Kubrick's Full Metal Jacket. I love this movie. It's such a nostalgic movie. Don't judge me, I've watched this when I was a young kid and it's probably the other most inappropriate film for a kid to watch. But I love this. That's going to go lovely up there. Well, I say up there, but they're going to be moving from up there to up there. Next one. Okay, I've had it here. Possessed. Another movie that I've never heard of. This is, what year is this? 1947, this one. Possessed. That sounds quite good. I'm gonna have to give this this a watch. That's a Warner Brothers too. I like the Warner Brothers movies. Don't know, probably. The next one I'm gonna go from the bottom is called Look at. I'm I've watched that. I've watched that. Okay, so this is good film. film. I've never watched this film. As everyone knows, I watched only mainly war movies and other stuff. But I've been getting into loads of new films. Lisa's been getting me into films. I think this. So that's, I'm, that's why I'm having her. So I'm looking forward to watching those rooms. Like, I get Lisa's games. Lisa is a simple person, no offence, with games. She sticks to the same type. GTA, Sleeping Dogs, don't you? Okay, okay, yeah. Godfather. That's she true, that's she true. She buys the games and then she's like, I'll play them soon, like, but no. Yeah, <laughs> so, Very, that's true. So this is Look At. This is a 1981 film, a hundred, uh, number 114. N no idea what this is about. Someone from ER is in this. Michael... Crichton from ER and Coma. This includes special features, commentary, deleted scenes, and the theatrical trailer. Let me see what the art books are. Yeah, like. And with these ones, they're not all reversible artwork. Looks like that. I'm getting, I'm getting reflection on your phone. Uh, Pardon me. If you never watch Look At, I highly recommend it because that is an underrated movie. Really. Next one Gun Crazy. So is this like a, because it's about guns, is it like a, um, what do you call it, like a mafia type thing? Oh no, it's about two bank robbers, I was way off. And it is raining, and we've got a guy in this in a bit. <laughs> Gun quit. What year is this? I will 1949. Say, say the funny thing is, they were like that box is so heavy, the poster was struggling to carry it. <laughs> I have to laugh at that. So this is a film which I know Lisa's looked at a few times of getting it, but every time she's gone to see it because it's never been in stock. This is Bad Day at Black Rock. I'm sure this is like a gangster movie. This is from 1955, number 63. Lisa loves her gangster shark movie. She likes all sorts, baby. Especially the old gangster movies. They're just been there brilliant. Next one, Dark Passage. Oh, this one's got Humphrey Bo Bogart in it. Who? Humphrey Bogart. Who's that? I hope I said that right. Humphrey Bogart. Him? Oh, God. I don't know who it is. 1947. I'm not very knowledgeable. I does not want being honest. I this one looks quite interesting. It's got special features. Hold your breath across your fingers. 
Slick hair, vintage books, bunny short trailer. Vintage book, books, bunny okay, short. Books, bunny short for years. Like she's wow. never watched Who Fade Roger Rabbit. I have watched it. I just can't get into no, it. No, you watched ten minutes of it. I'm gonna have to watch that vintage books, bunny short. I'm intrigued now. <laughs> yeah, she's only watched ten minutes of Who Fade Roger Rabbit. I can't, I can't get into it, man. So the next one is a film called. Mouth and Man, I have heard of so never watched this. It's got Good Dustin film. Hoffman in. Good film. Good so film. special features the magic of Hollywood is the magic of people. Going the distance, remembering Mouth and Man. Rehearsal footage. I love watching stuff like that. Good film. I rec highly recommend Mouth and Man. Dustin Hoffman. Next one is Badlands. This one's got Martin Sheen in it. Okay, okay, Martin Sheen. 80s, it's going to be a good boy, that film. 1973. Looking forward to watching this one. Um, partial to a bit of Martin Sheen. Next one. Uh, oh, me. yes. Double Path. Lisa loves the speed movies. Speed 1 and 2. I'm sure that, over the, I don't think I've got it on DVD because I don't think I've come across it. But... I've got speed on every single format. Blu ray, I've got it on steel book. Do I have it on 4K? I don't know. Yes, possibly. I think you got one of them on 4K. Yeah, yeah, I got the first one on 4K. Uh, as I thought I'd let you know while Lisa's talking, sorry, Lisa putting it. Love speed. Um, we love our DVDs because we've got a portable DVD player, so when we go to Minehead, we take it on holiday with us. Yeah, we've got a box in there full of uh, DVDs that we've been sorting through. Yeah, one second. Putting them in alphabetical order just so we know what, what we're The doing next about. one is something that Lisa's going to love. This is a Danny Dyer movie. It is Alice in Wonderland. Malice. Malice. What did I say? Alice. Oh, <laughs> God damn Malice in Wonderland. Lisa, carry on, boy. I need to be a minute. Malice in Wonderland. I love Danny Dyer movies. I've recently watched one. I can't remember what it's called. I think it was Assassin, was it? That was a good film. It's got Maggie Grace in it as well from Taken. I've heard of this, but I've never watched it, so that'll be going nicely on my Danny Dyer collection. I've been working through my movies, watching them all. Exactly. The next one is a DVD. This is Mick... Mickey Flanagan's Tour de Tour de France. I do actually like him. Do you imagine? Have no, you ever I've watched just, it? never actually watched Mickey Flanagan before. Okay. Uh, it's really good. I would recommend you watching stuff like these. Yeah. Yeah, Lisa's not very... She likes just a certain comedians, don't you? What, like, why should we buy them? She really wants to go see Jack White on tour, but every time the tickets go out, she misses the tickets out by days. Yeah, so sad. But yeah, I'm going to have to start watching Mickey Flanagan, it's a big deal, I've never actually watched him before. Stories 24. Sorry, I'm being nosy at the next film. I haven't watched this yet. We <laughs> what? No, big covers just read it, so I haven't watched this yet. We own this on Blu-ray, but we don't own this on DVD. So you could put that DVD in with the Blu-ray, because it is a Blu-ray DVD comma, but you didn't have the DVD with it. See, it didn't have it. Really? Yeah. Even better than put it in the Blu-ray case. Story 24. I do apologise if it's a bit dark in here. We have got the vlogging light on. We've and got the, every single light on. But it's gone dark outside because it's about to find the storm. The next one is a film called GBF. And it looks really good. It looks... Oh my god, that's her from, you know the girl who plays Alison in Pretty Little Liars? She is there. I would actually watch this tonight. Is that an LGBT movie? It's from the make, uh, from the, the same style as Mean Girls and Clueless. I'm not too sure. I think it might be actually. That looks quite, wow, he looks a bit gay. <laughs> but that looks really good. I like movies like that. Next one. The One. Never heard of this. Who's in this? John Prescott. Ian Novick, Margaret Ann Florence. Oh, so this is like a chick flick movie. I like my chick flick. Yes, oh, yes. hold on. Deciding the queer twist. So this is a... Uh, you should know because look. TLA, they know you do all the gay releases. Oh, I, I didn't even notice that at the bottom. But yeah. Like, like not like, love the LGBT movies. Well, you got I H just think they're hilarious. Some yeah, of them. you got H&B. Like, they don't have much of a... They've got like an LGBT section, but there's not like much in there. There's a good film, it's, um, I will suggest it, it's called I Can't Think Straight. What's the the woman out of EastEnders who got burnt by the fire? Masood's wife. Zainab. Zainab, she plays a, 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 a servant in there um, to this, um, I don't know if it was Indian, because it's set in India, the film, um, partially, and the UK. And like, she doesn't like her 
uh, her boss. So she like, spits in the tea and all sorts of stuff. I like takes a piss out of it. It's a really good film. I would recommend it. It's a good funny film. Even I've never watched that. It's before. a comedian. It's about uh, two uh, women who go against a religion or something. I watched it as a book to it. I read the book first. I'm going to have to watch that myself. Yeah. Watch I had it on DVD, but I think when we saw the stuff for the wedding, it went a bit. <laughs> yeah, so, we, we saw everything for the I'd wedding. I'd recommend that film. In real life, they played the two women who played the main actresses in I Can't Big Street. Play another film with them in playing the same sort of relationship was set in like Australia in the 40s. And I can't remember what it's called. No yeah, way. as I was rambling, I thought just good suggestion for a film. So we got Monster Inc. Scare Island. I don't actually own this. No, no, don't think you do. No, I don't actually own this, which I'm quite surprised. Monster House, Monster First Aid. No, no. Thank you ever so much. <laughs> you don't actually own I didn't it. even know you could get this on PS2. I knew you could get it on GameCube, but I didn't really know. And as everyone knows, I'm gonna show you the artwork on the cat covers with PS2 games. That's some awesome artwork. So, Cass, comment below, do you collect certain PS2 games? Yeah, sorry, Mandalore is going up in the background. But this is the way. Yeah. Do you collect PS2 games and how many do you have? So, this is two Cass. If you collect PS2 games, a lot of them, do you have many in your collection? Also, anyone else, do you collect PS2 games? And last but not least, all dogs go to heaven. I've never actually watched this. I'm sure we've got it. The, on the DVD. I'm, yeah, it's a sequel. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure we've got the double pack to this. Is that Blu ray? Oh yeah. my god, I didn't even know you could get this on Blu ray, so I'm so excited. I love my animations. I'm going to have to look now, see if you can get number two on Blu ray, because I didn't even know. I didn't know you, you could get this on um, Blu ray either. What region is this? A. Oh, sorry. We, region A. We've got a re, Region A player or a Region 3 player, so it's like, awesome. Yeah. Another one to use Region A collection. What's the disc oh, it's got artwork on the disc too. I only knew it was American because of the thinness of the case, but yeah, I love America. animations. I love American thin boxes. So, yeah, a lot so of Kaz, it. how did you find out about all these good movies that you get on Region A? Because we don't seem to go across Region A films very often. I want to say thank you ever so much. Oh don't forget to subscribe to our channel for some awesome pickups. Mm. We're picking up Funko Pops, our DC stuff especially, and some lovely steelbook. And I do see you on the steelbook who's Kaz commenting about... Um, Steel books that you're buying off people. Yeah, I've actually lost words. It's not very often that that happens to me. But we just want to say thank you so so much for all of this stuff. It's just insane. You should see what the bed looks like. You wouldn't actually believe we don't own anything. No, we don't. Oh, I need to fell over the steps. <laughs> Sorry, you don't. Uh, wouldn't believe that the files of films like that. We don't actually own any of these. Yeah, it's crazy. Crazy times. She must be here in the room. Now. I'm telling you, Kaz got a people somewhere. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you so so much, Kaz. You do not understand what this means to us. We have to find room for the premium somewhere. I've already got room up at the top. We'll post a picture once we've done them on a but uh, post. A quick question. Question of the video. Question of the week. When we sort out the premiums, do you think we should put them in alphabetical order? Or do you think we should put them in number order? No, you should put them in year or number or year order. I think year order. Comment down no, below. No, sorry, number order, my my opinion. Comment down below and let us know what would you do. I'm going to take your advice on board. So, yeah, you want to do the outro? Yeah, so I say thank you so much to Kaz once again. Uh, Lisa will be contacting you today, probably after we finish recording. We picked up a PS2 game, we're going to see if you do want it. Because we put, got it as a double. Silly me didn't check the list as usual. Yeah. So thank you to everyone who subscribed. Please pop over to Kazzy's channel and subscribe to her. Um wanna put so thank you to everyone who's watching and stay to the end of the video. And if you stay to the end of the video, hashtag Kaz99000. That'd be a different hashtag for change. Yeah, so stay safe and keep hunting.